Yes, thank you very much. I, <laughs> I know it's an exciting time. Very exciting. Tomorrow's April Fool's Day. <laughs> Are you planning something? I love April Fool's Day, the day when we try to fool people by telling some outrageous lie. <laughs> or, <laughs> or as Trump calls it, tweeting. Yeah. Uh, oh, let me tell you, he can try to tweet his way out of this Russia story, but this shit ain't going anywhere. <laughs> The Cold War. Remember the Cold War? Well, it is back, with, with one small difference. Uh, the old Cold War, the White House was on our side. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this... I mean, there's, there's so many strands and smoke to this Russia connection, but I guess the big headline this week is Michael Flynn. We had him on our show. I don't know why he came here, but he did. <laughs> Uh, he was the national security advisor for a hot minute, and uh, he, he is asking for immunity to sing. <laughs> Cannot wait to hear what he has to sing. But this is the immunity. This is the guy who led the chants at the convention. Lock her up. And he also said anyone asking for immunity is probably guilty. So... <laughs> you know what, Mike? <laughs> If you think Hillary's a bitch, try karma. Uh, but, now, this Russia story, thank God Congressman Devin Nunez is on the case. <laughs> Have you seen this guy? The dumbest thing to come out of California <laughs> since Dianetics. I mean... <laughs> now, Last week, Nunez, who's head of the House Intelligence Committee, which almost cruel to give him that title, <laughs> he went behind the back of the committee, you saw this, to run over the White House to back up Trump's bogus claim that Obama wiretapped him. Trump asked him to do a job. He did it. The bad news, he lost all his credibility. The good news, he just won The Apprentice. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. So that was last week. This week, we found out the information that Nunez told the White House he learned at the White House. <laughs> That's right. Nunez says he needed to go to the White House to tell them what he learned from them the day before. <laughs> from three White House staffers who told Nunez, this thing I just told you, come back tomorrow and tell us. <laughs> These people are such clowns. You, you know who the person in the whole fucking ecosphere of Trump I respect the most? Melania. The only... <laughs> the only one with this common sense to say, fuck this, I'm staying in New York. <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere near this dumpster fire. And speaking of dumpster fires, this is so sad, but you know, when you, elections have consequences. This week, Trump ordered the EPA to dismantle all of Obama's efforts to combat global warming. Mileage standards for cars, gone. Ban the use of the phrase. You can't even say climate change anymore around the White House. Signed an executive order. He was with all the coal mining executives and the coal miners. Oh, we're gonna bring back coal. You're gonna bring back your jobs. What the fuck is it with Trump <laughs> and coal miners? Did, did they have a video of him getting pissed on? <laughs> You know, coal. When, when Obama was, you know, channeling money and funds to green energy companies, Republicans were always saying, oh, he's picking winners. Yeah, at least he was picking winners from the future. <laughs> Not picking winners from the 19th century. It's, it's like saying we gotta get those blockbuster video clerks back, in, <laughs> back to work. I got to get them back in the store. <laughs> so upset, my tie is crooked. I, just... <laughs> I mean, even corporations, yes, corporations, are speaking out against Trump's climate policy. Levi's, Staples, The Gap, Exxon. <laughs> I'm not kidding. 
M&M's said, it's gotten so bad, our product melts in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and Trump is also feuding with his own party. You know, the Freedom Caucus used to be the Tea Party. Now it's the Freedom Caucus. They're the ones who scuttled his health care bill last week. Oh, man, they're, they're, they're at loggerheads. And the, and the Freedom Caucus is 29 white men. And they are very conservative. They do not approve of Trump's pussy grabbing. <laughs> they believe in handling a woman's genitals through legislation. <laughs> they are... <laughs> They are very conservative. They, <laughs> I am sure they did not like what happened yesterday in North Carolina. Did you see that? They repealed their bathroom bill, which restricted <laughs> transgender people from going... Pee at last! Pee at last! Thank almighty we can pee at last! But here's my favorite story of the week. You know, remember when Trump said about health care, nobody knew. <laughs> Nobody knew it was so... Okay, apparently, apparently this is a theme now. It also applies to the wall that they're going to build along the Mexican border. Nobody knew. They identified just now a new problem, <laughs> tiny problem. They just found out that 889 miles of the border is the Rio Grande River, which we share with Mexico. And if we build the wall on our side, we're giving them the whole river. Oops. <laughs> and yet... And yet... His approval rating is still 35%. I, I don't know who these 35% are, but can we build a wall around them? 